guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have a fun haul to share with you. I've got some stuff here. I do think I have a few more things arriving at the beginning of the week, so I'm going to try to film a second part and tack that onto the end of this. Um, but either way, um, I'll probably try to give you a decently sized haul here. So as always, if you do want to jump around, I will leave timestamp links in the description bar in case you want to skip some stuff. And I'll also leave any referral links or coupon codes that I have for these shops linked below. So let's go ahead and dive in. First up, we have a shop that is definitely becoming a rapid favorite. That is Wild Summer Designs. I just cannot get over the like basically the quality that you're getting for the price. So if you look on her website, she does have a website, it's wildsummerdesigns.com. If you look on her website, like she's already pretty reasonably priced, but then guys, if you join her Facebook group, she has a permanent 50% off coupon code. Just like no, no minimum, just 50% off your order if you use the code from the Facebook group, which is insane. So I would definitely recommend checking that out and because it's just like, I mean, you're getting such a good price on already good price stuff. And so she are, she did recently switch. She used to have a glossy and a matte and I really liked her glossy. She did recently switch to be all matte, but it's a more premium matte. I would not call it a buttery premium matte. It is more of a, um, it is more of like a papery, highly saturated premium matte. I would say it's like similar to Two Little Bees. I think it's not quite as crisp as Two Little Bees, but for me, for the price you're getting for her stickers, I'd say it's totally serviceable and definitely better than like your normal matte where you're not like, you know, like in some of the colors look grainy or other stuff like that. This definitely looks better than that. So I think for the price it's worth it. So anyway, let me show you guys what I picked up. Um, we do have her business card here. Even the business card has like a code for like 40% off your next order, which is just insane. But I don't even need that because there's the Facebook code. I just can't get over her deals. Um, and then we have the freebie sampler here. Very pretty, it has like a pretty full box on it and it has the matte paper. And then before we get into the kits, the first thing I did pick up was a, another set of her, what she calls her dashboards. I actually got these sized for a micro planner so that I could use them more as journaling cards. So a micro size I believe is like three inches by four inches. So I decided to get those like this because I could use them more as journaling cards. And that actually ended up perfect because I don't know if you guys remember if you watched the haul previously um, where I had gotten some dashboards from her. I was a little disappointed that they were a little bit more grainy than I would have liked. But I think when you're getting ones that are a smaller size, you're not trying to blow up the image so much. So you're almost getting like better. Like I think these images actually look really nice and they don't look nearly as grainy or like as muted as the, like the other ones I got. And it also might help that these are like not dark colors. They're like lighter colors. So you wouldn't notice like, like faded blacks or anything. Cause there's no black. So anyway, this was definitely a good purchase. I think it for like a set of six, I think it's $10. But then again, if you get the 50% off code, it's like five bucks and these are really cute journaling cards for a Valentine's Day setup. So this uh, was, she had a kit with this theme, but I already had one that kind of had this art. So I didn't get the kit, even though it was really pretty. Um, but I did want to get these. So first up, you have this gorgeous, like these are like all kind of photo designs. So you have this like photo of like roses and a heart. And the back of all these is just a very simple, pretty pink. The bouquet, this is so stunning. Cause you could use these in a springtime planner too. Um, I kind of want to do one that's like spring and Paris theme since we're going to Paris this summer or this, this spring rather. Um, so we'll see. Uh, some florals, really pretty pink door. So nice. The kind of like scarf with the d dried flowers and then a close up of the florals. So really, really pretty. I am glad I picked these up. Like I said, I think getting the smaller size definitely helped the issue I had noticed in the past. Um, and either way, I still enjoyed using, I used hers in my Buffalo check setup and I definitely still enjoyed using them as journaling cards. So um, definitely would do that again. So that was the uh, dashboards. And then I had got two kits from her. And um, I picked this up actually on one of her big sale weekends. So the way she's now doing her shop, she is now a ready to ship shop and she does one big new release weekend a month. And that weekend she ends up running even better codes. It's like 55% off everything. And if you hit a $30 minimum, I believe it ends up being, uh, you can get 60% off your order, which is just like, 
so insane. Um, so I did order a couple of kits. I was like, oh, it's so early for summer kits, but some of these were just so gorgeous that I knew I'd want them. So I went ahead and grabbed them. First up is her Be Happy kit. Um, it's very like summertime, um, airy. I love this for like a summer photo kit. I wasn't sure that I would like photo kits in the summer and I still don't think I want like, I don't know. My main thing with photo kits is I don't like there to be people in the photos. I really just like it to be scenes and like pretty like plants or nature or like pretty like bed scenes. Like that's really pretty. I don't like it when there's like photos of people that I don't know. Um, so I think Wild Summer Designs does photo kits really well. So this is the mini kit. So you get the glitter headers included in the mini kit. And then I picked up the date cover. She sells these a la carte separately. I just thought these were really simple and pretty and they were like a dollar. So I picked them up and then here you get your full boxes. I just really, really like this. I think the Scrabble pieces are so cute. Then in her mini kits, you get two weekly ombres, some habit trackers, flags, a build do, a little list. The weekend banner with the bows is really cute. And then you get headers and appointment labels and you get a full week's worth of to-do headers, but then you just get sidebar headers. So you do kind of need to pull in other headers if you're gonna use this in like an Erin Condren. Then you get a bunch of half boxes, a full week's worth of checklists, icons, and quarter boxes. And then finally you get the bottom washi, which is so serene and so pretty. And then you get some regular washi strips as well. So these mini kits are, I think are a great size. I love that she does tons of stuff a la carte too. So like you can just get a base kit that's just like these two sheets. If all you were really interested in like is the decorative pieces, which is really cool. So definitely check her out. Um, this kit is gorgeous. And then we have a second kit. This is the Sunday morning mini kit. And I loved this one for like, like a July kit, like just kind of something that's summery and really, really festive and fun, but it's not like over the top summery, if that makes sense. Like, I just love this. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, again, it's a photo kit. And again, I got the mini kit. Uh, the mini kit does come with the glitter headers. And then I did pick up the date cover separately. And I liked these date covers so much. And I was like a dollar from me, like away from meeting the $30 minimum to get um, like the 60% off. So it was actually cheaper to pick up one more thing. So I just got a second set of these date covers because I just thought they were so pretty and I could use it with like a different kit. Um, but, and it like saved me more money to get to. So here I think you can see a little bit. This is like when I wish she still had her glossy. Like this particular full box, I think you can see a little bit of graininess that I don't love. It's like perfectly acceptable, especially for the price, like I said, but like it's not quite as like with those blacks, it's not quite as like sharp as I think it would be on as like her glossy images were like so good. But I know for her to be ready to ship, she had to go to like all matte. So I think it's totally worth it. Anyway, how stunning is this kit? I love the theme of like the twinkle lights and Sunday morning and just like, I don't know, it's kind of backyard, but it's kind of like Sunday morning. I wish that my husband was like a morning person and we could like do this kind of thing, but he's not. So I'll just live aspirationally through my planner. And then we have the same sheet here. You get your flags, headers, all that jazz, your half boxes, uh, heart checklist, icons and quarter boxes. And then look how fun this bottom washi is with like all the pastries and the flour. My husband loves to bake, even if he's not a morning person. So this kind of reminds me of him with the blues and stuff too. So really, really pretty. Like I said, I do think her matte paper does better on like lighter colored kits than the darker colors. So maybe that's something to keep in mind, but I definitely think that it's still like you can't beat her price. You really can't. So if you're a planner on a budget or if you just like pretty photo kits, I would definitely check her out. So that's it from Wild Summer Designs. Next up, I have a small order here from Green and Lime. I'll be honest and admit, I didn't really need anything because she didn't release any new clips, but one of you guys was kind enough to use my referral link and that like gives me credit back to use as well. It gives you guys, if you use my referral link below, it gives you a $10 credit to her shop, which is awesome. But then it also gives me some credit back. Um, and I had that credit and I also, she was doing a $2 Tuesday on all her clips. And I was like, well, let me just get some backups of my favorite. So I got a few backups of my favorite, um, some of her gold clips so 
I've shared these before on my channel, but I am obsessed with her coffee cup ones. And I thought I lost one of mine. It turns out it was just in a planner that I hadn't used in a little bit. But even still, I was like, oh, I need to like get a backup. So I got one backup and then I got a second backup and I might put one of those aside for a giveaway for you guys. I don't know if I need like three backups. So anyway, I love the coffee cup one, especially because I think it looks so cute in your TN. I'll show you why. So you can kind of position it over your paper like this so that the little handle sticks out and you can use that to like grab your page, which is like my, why this one is my favorite. And also I just love coffee. and I think the little heart is so cute, but it's also really functional. I wish you'd do more designs in her paper clips because I am obsessed with them. They're really, really sturdy, really, really gorgeous. Then I got this one. I thought this would be gorgeous for a Valentine's planner. Um, this is her little love word. I believe this is her own handwriting. You can't get this anywhere else. And it has like love on a clip there. So stunning for Valentine's or any time of year too. Love, love matters year round, but for a Valentine's planner, I think that's extra cute. And then I got two more clips that I already had, but I wanted backups of. First one, oops. First one is her page marker one. This little page flag is so cute. That's another one that I like to leave poking out slightly over the edge and then you can just grab it to switch that piece of paper in your TM. But I think the heart is adorable. And then here is just an arrow one. This is just kind of fun, like to kind of point to, you know, wherever you're taking your notes or something like that. So really love green and line stuff. I really want her to like release more clips. I know she's been more focused on her planners and stuff, but I want her to do more clips because these are just stunning and some of my favorites. But anyway, Anyway, check her out if you haven't. I have that referral link below, like I mentioned. So that is green and lime. Then next up, I have an order from Two Little Bees, my favorite. And this kit, guys, honestly, I think it's one of the best like photo kits I've ever seen. And it's also like Maria's first photo kit. And I'm honestly seriously regretting not buying a backup of it. I know that's, if you've watched my sticker kit collection, I certainly don't need more Two Little Bees kits. But guys, I love this one so much that I'm like, I don't want to use it. I want to like, I don't know. I told Maria, I was like, just do a pre-order so everybody can just order a backup of it. Because even if I don't want it this year, I want it for next year because it's so gorgeous. Um, and I'm like, honestly, like, I don't want to use it because I love it so much, which I know is totally counterintuitive, but it's stunning. So basically it was Maria's first photo kit. She did an outstanding job with it. It's gorgeous for winter. It's so freaking soft and pretty. Uh, she just did a great job. So first up, we have the washi strips. You do buy these separately um, and they're really pretty. They go straight across in your, if you have a B6TN, they fit perfectly. Um, and I just think they're so gorgeous. She does really nice prints for them. And then here are the full boxes. By the way, I did get this kit in glossy. For me, photo kits, I kind of like them better on glossy. On it, obviously, I didn't have a choice with the Wild Summer Designs kits, but I think like photo paper itself is kind of glossy. So I always think of photo kits as being on glossy. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else. Um, but yeah, so I did get glossy for this one and oh, it's stunning. It's so crisp, it's so gorgeous. Just look at like oh, the textures in this. It just makes me feel really, really cozy and pretty. It's just so gorgeous. Um, then we have this functional sheet. You get some deco down here. Um, I know Maria like had a hard time with the deco because with a photo kit, there's not like clip art that you can cut out, but she did a really nice job with it. And you get some extra quarter boxes, washi labels, the scripts. She has her smaller icons now. The flags are so pretty. Oh, that one's so cute. Really, really gorgeous. And you have this functional page, all your functional stuff, heart checklist, quarter boxes, um, habit trackers, all the good stuff here. I love these colors so much. I'm just obsessed. Then we have our regular headers and also the decorative headers and your little things. I love the cable net decorative headers. They're so pretty. And then this sheet with your clipboards, your half boxes, and your date covers. Those date covers are stunning. And you get some more decorative headers. And I think she has it now so that you get an entire um, three different sets of seven decorative headers, which is really nice. Then you have these heart checklists and these at first I was like, oh, these are like a little busy. I don't know that I'll use them. What I realized is I can then use the leftovers of this kit combined with like the washi strips that I have in like a B6 spread and kind of do use these almost as um, full boxes because they are so decorative and gorgeous. So I was actually really excited when I realized that. And then here you have your stunning bottom washi. How freaking gorgeous is that? I am 
in love. Like that is just such a pretty image. Then you get a lot of extra washi strips. I think she's reformatted the sheet yet again. So this isn't like the permanent state, um, but you get some washi strips, some half or quarter boxes, more washi, all that. And I thought, oh, you do get the labels. I thought you got those extra headers, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe for this kit you don't. And then going forward, I don't know. But anyway, this is stunning. I am in love with it. And I really want Maria to do a re-release of it so I can hoard, buy one to hoard. But guys, I think my camera cut off when I was babbling about um, the, how much I love the Two Little Beast kit. I think you pretty much saw everything, but um, I love this kit. Be on the look for me. I'm gonna try my hardest to use it in February and not hoard it forever, so. Anyway, gorgeous kit as always from Maria. Next up we have an order that uh, from a shop I've never tried before and it's from Magic's Prince Co. And you can see there how the, it is packaged, really pretty. This is an, a shop that I have seen my friend Viv use a ton. Um, and then I know Jessenia also just recently tried her too. Um, and I saw her use it in a plan with me as well. And once I saw her and then I had already followed her on Instagram from Viv because I knew Viv really liked the shop and I was like debating checking her out. And then Jessenia used it in like a plan with me. And then the shop ended up running like a 30% off code that weekend. And I was like, okay, it's serendipity. I'm gonna do it. Finally place my first order. So I placed my first order from her. Really happy with it. Like I, yeah, I'm into it. So, so she's definitely a really great foil shop. I also forgot I had seen her from like, Maybe she had sent stickers to like J. Crew and Rochelle. I feel like I've seen her in other people's. So anyways, I've seen her around a lot, and, but I had never really looked at her shop until I saw that discount code. And what I noticed in her shop is that she has a lot of foiled stuff, but she, she like really specializes in like, icons in foil which i think is awesome and like cut out words and things like that like she doesn't have like uh as much functional stuff as like say a rose colored days where you have like all the headers and the heart checklists and like a lot of more functional stuff she really seems to have like a lot of individual icon sheets and she has like something for everything so if you're like need basketball or baseball or football or you need um i think i even saw like a gymnastics one like she has like something for everything and I think that if you're looking for something specific in foil, definitely check her out. And I know she's like taken requests from people before. I think so she's definitely someone to look for if you're looking for like a specific foiled thing. So let me show you what I got. I got everything in her gold foil. I believe she also has silver and rose gold. I'm not sure if she has anything else, but I don't know why I didn't get anything in silver, else in silver, but um, I don't know, I'm a dingus. Um, but yeah, oh, and then the final thing before I get in, sorry. She's a new shop, so I'm trying to tell, give you guys all the deets. She is, her shipping was insanely fast. She was in the middle of like a 30% off sale. It shipped, like, I think I ordered it on Friday and I had it by Monday somehow. Like, I don't even understand. It was so fast. I was so impressed. So I might actually pick up some silver stuff from her too, because I still have a few silver kits I want to use this year. And I feel like she just is so quick. The final thing, before we get into the stickers, I do have a discount code from her. It'll be linked below. She was so sweet and wrote me a really nice card. Her name is Katie. Um, the code is just Holly Plan, so use that for 20% off your order, which is awesome. Um, and cause, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We have foiled footballs. She does do the same thing as Clever Gal Crafts where she has like paper sheets between all her sheets. I don't know that you really need them. But they're definitely nice to have. Then we have meal plan, which I love cause I've been trying to do a lot more meal plan and meal prep really cute. Then we have her little mini laptops. How adorable are these with the little heart on them? Really cute. You get a lot of stickers on one page too, which I really like. Then we have a cook dinner, which I like because often on like Wednesday night, I kind of do like a midweek meal prep. And I think this would be really good for that because it's really just more about like cooking a more elaborate dinner so that I have leftovers. Um, but I think cook dinner works for that. Then we have these, I didn't have any um, foil stickers that were payday stickers. I had like little script ones, but I didn't have any cute ones. And so these say, yay, it's payday with like a little um, dollar sign there. And all of her stuff is like cut out around it. It's really, really cute. And then we have this awesome laundry one. I did not have any foiled laundry stickers, I don't think. So really, really like these. I love the little laundry baskets, especially. These always look like dishwashers to me, but I know a lot of people use those for laundry. Then we have the adorable little foiled kettlebells. Do I need more foiled workout stickers? No. Did I want them? 100%. So um, I, you guys know I go through my workout stickers, so I'm not worried about it from that perspective. But um, yeah, they're really cute. 
the little heart. Adorable. Then we have a foiled sneaker. These are adorable. I really, really like these. Um, I have my Running Men from Simply Watercolor Co. that I like, but it might be nice to use these for some variety. And then I got the bigger size of the laptop if I wanted something slightly larger. I just really thought these were so cute. And then I love this sheet. This is like the YouTuber sheet. And so you have one that's just like a YouTube play button and then one that's like a YouTube little clapper, which I really like to mark down filming or I could even use it to mark down uploads, just something different. And we have this sheet that is the scripts and you have ones that say film and edit. So I love those because I definitely will use those a lot. Um, I do a lot of filming and editing as you guys know. And then here I got these phones. I think these are really cute because I always have a hard time making myself call my mom. I know that's terrible, but I just, it's like my daily, or it's like my um, weekly chore. So I think having a foiled sticker will make me more motivated to do it. And then finally, we have the foiled trash cans. And if you watch my plan with me's, you know I've talked about how I think foiled trash cans would just be like the hilarious, um, like planner girl way of making something that's kind of gross into something sparkly and fun, um, which I, yeah, is exactly why I wanted foiled trash cans because they're gonna make me want to take out the trash. So these are so, so cute, but like look how many you get on a sheet. You get like a ton. So that's the one thing it's like, if it's not something you need regularly, like that's my fear with ordering like silver stuff. It's like, I don't use silver year round, but I think she has some sheets. Like I definitely would might want like a laptop one or like the, like one sheet of workout stickers or something. So I might be placing another order with her soon. So, th so that is Magic Prince Co. Thanks to Vib for like, you know, being a stand for the shop. And thank you to Katie for that discount code. So let me, move on here to the last shop for this haul which is simply gilded i just have a small order from her so first up we have this stunning um journaling card that says love so pretty for springtime and for valentine's day and then i just have a few washies here Ooh, I also have like a little extra foiled bow. So happy about that. I will set that aside for like a traveler's notebook or something. Okay guys, so first up we have this adorable washi. I think this was released on Black Friday. At the time I tried to resist it because I was like, Holly, what do you need this washi for? You're never gonna use it. You're just like being a washi hoarder. And then I like saw, like I just, I saw that she was restocking it and I was like, I lied, I need it, it's so freaking cute, it makes me so happy, is this little owl that has little foiled glasses on, and he's flying, and he's like delivering little happy mail that says happy mail in foiled. It's on like kind of like a very, very light gray, blue tinged background. It is so freaking cute, it just makes me so happy, and so I'm really glad I own it. Even if I like will only probably use it in like two planner spreads ever, but I love it. And then here, and I think that would also be really cute. I like to like when I'm doing my D stash account or stuff, I always put like a cute washi on the outside. This would be really cute for sending happy mail to other planner girls. And then guys, we finally have one of my, the washies I've been dreaming about. It is the black and gold bow washi. I am so excited. It came in a set of two with the skinny. I have mentioned I'm going to try to buy fewer skinny washies because I don't tend to use them as much, but um, for this one, this is just a neutral basic that I had to have in both the thick and skinny, so I was fine that it came in a set. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else there's to say. It's more of like a champagne gold. It's not too brassy, which I really, really like, um, and I just think it's gorgeous. So, I do sort of feel like the bows are getting overdone and I'm trying not to buy every bow, but it's so hard because I just like, I just love them so much and they are like, I do reach for my bows a lot. So whatever. Um, I love Simply Gilded. So that is it for Simply Gilded. Okay guys, so I'm back with part two of the haul. We've got some clips and stickers to share. So let's go ahead and dive in. First up, we have some clips from a totally new to me shop, which is Fur and You, which I always want to say as Fire and You, um, but I realize it's Fur and You. I just always add a bonus E. 
So this is a shop I have seen featured on some of my friends' channels like Jasenia, or I know Maria uses her stuff a lot in Instagram pictures. So I have been eyeing her for a while. I think she had a 20% off code. I forget what the reason for it was, maybe MLK Day or something. Um, but I decided to use that opportunity to try her out for the first time. Um, so I grabbed a few things. Um, she has like bookmarks and clips for your TN and things like that. I got two of what she calls her swag clips. You can see it came packaged very nicely. Um, I got two of what she calls her swag clips, which are like her biggest clips for her TN. And then I got two bookmarks. So let me go ahead and show you the clips or the like the charms first, not clips, charms. Um, so first up I got this one um, and she has a lot of designs that all kind of look sort of similar um and but they're like there's like subtle differences this one had like some pale green flowers it has some foil on the leaves has a very light pink almost off-white rose a pearl in the middle and then some really gorgeous charms and what i actually didn't realize before i got these for some reason is that these are like velcroed so you would actually take let me grab a tan so the way you would do this is that you actually Velcro these on, which I actually kind of like because it like it gives it a really unique look, I think, sitting on the elastic like that. Um, so I just hadn't realized that before I bought it. I thought she was like a normal charm. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of cool. So I got this one. My one thing with these though is they're so pretty and they're felt, so I wouldn't think that they would be you know, that breakable, but these little charms, I worry about like putting these in my bag. So these might just be like at home decorations. I'm not sure yet. I might try to take them around with me. They're just so pretty, I don't wanna hurt them. And then I got this one for more of like a Valentine's-y type planner. Um, it has a deeper red rose um, with same kind of leaves. And then one of the charms is a little heart, which I thought was so cute. These are definitely on the pricier side for charms. So, you know, if you're looking for something to decorate your TN on like a more of a budget basis, I would not say this is the best option because they're definitely um, a little bit more expensive. But you can see like the handmade love that goes into this. There's just so many layers of items um, and you get there's like a lot of stuff on a single charm. So I get it. But I just wanted to put that out there in case you look and you're like, holiday, like $12 for a TN charm. Are you nuts? Um, that was why I waited till I had a discount code. OK, and then we have the bookmarks. Her bookmarks are really pretty. I don't know how they compare yet to like, I'm planning on ordering from Studio Signe, Signet, um, but I believe hers are leather, the, the studio whatever shop. Um, that's another one, popular one that does tan charms. These are more like a string. So um, the idea here, I got these size for a B6, so they're not gonna fit in here purpose, for, perfectly because this is a number seven tan. Um, but the idea, this is a tan I haven't set up yet, um, but I'm kind of in process. The idea would be it kind of hangs over like that. Oh, it actually fits fine um, in a seven because I guess a seven's not that much taller. But these are like bookmarks that you can hang out, dangle out the bottom. I think they are so pretty. I um, um, really am looking forward to using these. So the first one I got is has this little felt, little pink flower at the end, and then all these really pink, pretty pink beads with gold hardware. And then the other end has a heart and then like two little pink beads. How freaking stunning is that? I just thought that was so pretty for Valentine's or something like that. And then this one I got for more of a seasonless one and it kind of matches that other swag charm. Um, and this one it has, I'm just gonna leave this one on the thing. Um, so this one has just a floral at the end that's more like off-white again or light pink. I don't know what she calls this. And then here there are some beads and a leaf um, that kind of go along with this charm. So I just thought this looked like these two would look really pretty together. So gorgeous. Love these. These are super pretty. They're like very delicate and girly, um, you know, very like... Uh, what's the word I want like they're not the opposite of over the top they're like understated but still like there's a lot to them if that makes sense so really really pretty I definitely a fan I'm looking forward to trying these I will definitely report back I'm a little worried since these are string I'm like curious to see how they hold up so I will let you guys know if I have any trouble with that um but it seems like a sturdy string so I think it should be fine but yeah so that is fur and you excited about my first order from them then I have an order of stickers here from Nicole Alexia Designs. I have a kit from her. And I had actually not had a chance to get a foil kit from her, not yet, I don't think. 
Did I buy one? You guys can call me on it if I'm totally lying, but I don't think I had. I don't think I had tried out her foil kits yet, um, and she definitely has had a reformat since the last time I ordered from her. So I was really excited to um, try her out again. You guys know I love foil. And show you guys the freebie first. So it says seasons change and so do we, which is cute. Um, nice big freebie there. And I got this celestial art. So I love this art so much. I have been like seriously dragging my feet on ordering kits with this art though because I almost love it too much. I was like really stressed out about like finding the perfect kit and I love this art so much and like I wanted there to be foil but also more pink and anyway. So I couldn't find like the perfect kit that like because there's so many good takes on this art because it's such a beautiful art set. But I definitely wanted to grab one that had like a silvery foil. So when I saw Nicole Alexia Designs did it, I decided to grab hers. Hers definitely has like more blue than some of the other takes. So I might get like um, either Simply Watercolor Co's or someone else's that has a little bit more of the pink colors in it. Um, because I feel like this is such a seasonless kit. You can use it whenever. And I love using kits like this kind of in the summer when... Um, I like using anything celestial themed like around the uh, Perseid meteor showers in August and I also just really would like a kit like this in summer because I just personally don't love summery kits so I could definitely see myself using it then but anyways so I got a full foiled kit from her I also picked up the date cover add-ons so let me show you what's in that first up here are the date covers I thought these were stunning really really pretty and you do get matching numbers which is nice I would probably use foiled numbers to be honest but these are really pretty and then here are the gorgeous foiled full boxes I love these so much I love the quote reach for the stars um, these are just really pretty really focusing on the like moon and stars vibe which I really liked and then here is the first functional page of the kit which also has numbers on it. Did I get, did I order the mini kit and she sent me the full kit? Why did I have, oh, that's right. I picked up the date, I got the full kit, which comes with date covers, but I think I also liked these date covers so much. I forget what it was, or maybe there's a minimum. I don't know why I picked these up separately. Maybe I just liked them. Maybe I thought these were foiled too. Guys, I don't know. Anyway, the full kit comes with date covers and you get numbers on them here. You also get icons, weekly ombres, some cutout deco, very cute. Then this page has all your like boxes, quarter boxes, one third boxes, and half boxes. You have your headers and little things, or she, which she calls small stuff. You have your ombre heart checklist, which she has a full seven, which I know a lot of people like. You have some uh, habit trackers and flags. And then here's the other foiled page in this kit. It's the bottom washi and the date covers. I Oh, maybe it was that I wanted to, that was might've been it. In case I wanted to use this kit in my traveler's notebook as opposed to my Erin Condren, she does do date strips like Scribble Prince Co. was doing for a while, which are a lot harder to use in a traveler's notebook. So although these date covers are beautiful and foiled, I might have to use these and if I do a traveler's notebook kit with this or a traveler's notebook spread with this. So yeah, this bottom washi is just stunning. I love it. So you do for her foil kits, you get two pages with a lot of foil, um, but then the rest of them are unfoiled. So in case you are considering them, she's a really affordable shop, even her foiled kits. She has discount codes a lot if you follow her on Instagram. I got this on glossy, by the way. I pretend to like foiled stickers on glossy. That's just kind of my preference, but um, I think she has a mat as well that's more affordable even. So anyway, that is Nicole Alexia Designs. Then I have an order here from my girl uh, Kiki at Paper Princess Plans. Um, she recently opened her shop, or not that recently at this point, but I used some of her stickers in a plan with me a couple weeks ago, or maybe, uh, maybe last week, but, and I really, really like her girls. I think they're so cute. Um, you get this little freebie journaling card, consider my planner royalty. And then she also debuted this new freebie, which I love, and she's matching the, like, color of the hair on the freebie to the color of the girls you order, which I think is so cool. So it has some ones I haven't gotten yet, like the Happy Mail or the Laundry. I might have to pick those up, too. Um, these are all adorable, though. Very cute. Okay guys, and I zoomed you way in, but here's like my hand for size reference. Also, sorry about my nail polish. It's the middle of the week. Everything goes to shit by now. Um, so first up, we have a sheet that Kiki actually was so kind to send me. It's her Celebration Princess sheet, which is so cute. Look how adorable this is. It has the cutout balloons with the girl in the pink dress. I love the scalloped, or not hem, neckline of her dress. Why did I mess this up? Oh no. 
Um, I love the scalloped neckline. It is so gorgeous. And of course it's the perfect pale pink that'll go with like every spread. Really, really pretty. And her, most of her sheets, you get a larger one and a smaller one, um, which is nice because the larger ones are pretty large. So you'd have to be marking out something that takes up a lot of room, but the smaller ones are a really good size. And then next up, oh, I did forget, I ordered the Laundry Princess one in this order. I just thought this girl was so cute. I love her little pigtails. I actually used to wear my hair like that a lot when I was like in my early 20s, but now I'm just like, eh, messy bun. But um, like that would be like my Sunday, like, oh, look how cute I am, I'm lounging look. But now I have a sticker that looks like that. <laughs> um, really, really cute. And then I got some of her scripts that she had released. I really like these. You can get them all in a bunch of different colored fonts. I got them all in this gold glitter font that I thought was pretty cool. Um, and these are cut out words. So they kind of like have very little white around them, which I really like. And I thought these would just be kind of cool to like use in your spread. I don't know that I needed these, but I wanted them. Um, and so I got film, I got edit. By the way, her paper is like a gorgeous premium matte paper. It's super, super nice. I got upload. Oh, I think that was it that I got. Did I get, no, I don't think I got work. I debated getting work, but I didn't. And then we have some of her new Valentine's releases, which are just so gorgeous. She also did, of this particular one, she did a digital release of it. So if you are like watching this video and you're like, oh, it's so close to Valentine's Day, I'm not gonna get it in time, um, then she did do a digital art of this. So you could buy that and print it out for yourself. That being said, she is ready to ship. So stuff from her does ship, I think within like three to five business days. So you could probably, I think this video is gonna go up on Friday. So you could probably still order and get it in time for Valentine's Day, but just FYI, it's available digitally as well. So, but I did get the stickers for this. I thought this was so sweet. I also thought this would be really cute, like for Paris too, just like the outfit. I could even cut off the balloons if I wanted. Her outfit looks very Parisian to me. Um, but yeah, I just love this for Valentine's Day. Will I use an entire sheet of stickers of this? Probably not, but I just thought this was so cute. And then we have the Valentine's Princesses sheet, which um, Kiki had solicited ideas for in her Facebook group. And I feel like this one in particular, I inspired, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, and she even has curly hair, so basically it's me. Um, but she's holding like chocolate covered strawberries and like, it looks like, she, I think Kiara called it a wine bottle, but to me it looks like a champagne bottle, but it's like perfect. And then we have these two, which are like simple dress ones. This girl's holding a heart and this one's just like looking fancy. And I feel like I am gonna use both of those so much, not just for valentines -y things. Like this one I think would be so cute for a date night year round. And this one I almost feel like I could use for work events because she's wearing kind of like, I guess she's wearing strappy sandals, so maybe not quite worky, but I just feel like for any dressy event, that will be perfect. And I love that she's just wearing simple black so you could pull it into a lot of spreads. And then finally, this girl, again, very cute curly hair. She's holding like, I think it's, is that a candle? or a cocoa. I think it's like a candle. So I think that's more supposed to be like Galentine's Day or me time, something like that for more of like a Galentine's, uh, in Valentine's kind of theme. But yeah, this is such a cute sheet. I really, really like this one. I love when she does these multi sheets. I think they're really fun. So that is it for Paper Princess Plans. And then next up we have another clip shop. I actually haven't opened this for once. This is from K&Co XOXO. It just arrived today and I wanted to show you guys how it was packaged. So it has a really cute little like black bow and you can kind of undo that. It has our business card and then you have all this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff out and come back and show you. So I got a few different things from her. First up, I did get the clips that I've seen people use. Again, I think like I've seen Jasenia. I think I've seen maybe Viv. I forget who else I've seen use these. But these are like these like Mondo clips that um, K and Co XOXO cells. Actually, these are the mini version of them, but they're these really nice, like super, like really like decent size metallic or decent like strength metallic clips um, that you can just use for whatever. Um, she obviously uses them to make clips, but then she just sells the plain ones. And um, I was very inspired to see like Jasenia use these to like mark pages in her TM. So I grabbed a mini version of the gold and a larger version of the gold. And then I just, well, let me show you the mini and the large compared just so you can see. And then I just got a mini version of the rose gold because honestly I have like a larger version that's from like Target. <laughs> but, and I think was probably more affordable than these, but I didn't have mini version, so I needed some minis. Um, but here are the large and small compared. So this is the large one and then this is the small one. So you can see the smalls 
a fair amount smaller, um, but they're still both really, really cute. And I think just very functional as well. And I, you know, I was joking, they're really not that like expensive. So I think they're kind of a cute way to just hold your place in your planner. And then I got this, which is different. I've seen these in her shop a lot and I hadn't ordered them. And then I think I saw like Nikki plans using one and I was like, oh, let me try it. And the idea here is that this would kind of like sit on top of your pages and this can kind of like move around like that on top of your traveler's notebook, but it's like a page marker kind of bead. So I'm a little worried. I've mentioned before, I've had a little bit of issue with some of her charms being a little fragile, um, but I wanted to try this out and I will definitely let you guys know, but it's a very simple little pink flower with a pearl in the middle, very chic, very cute. And then speaking of charms, I had said it to myself. I was like, you're not buying any more bow clips, Holly, because you've had two already kind of break on you. But I saw this charm and I could not resist. I'm going to try to be really delicate with it and not like stick it in my bag all the time, but that's just like, oh, I just like caught my finger on a staple, huh? Be less of a destroyer, but okay. Oh yeah, these were two clips. Oh God. Okay. See, I'm already dropping things. It's really probably not her fault that things break, but I am just a destroyer. So I got two different charms because I just love them both. So this one was a super simple open gold heart. I thought that was so pretty and I thought it would layer really nicely with like my peach palm charms or some of my favorite charms for the front of my, front of my TM. So I thought this would lay, layer really nicely with that or could layer with other ones as well. Just so simple and cute. And then this one was adorable. It's a little black bow with a gold outline. Super simple. You could put this on your spine or on the front. It's just really delicate, really small. It's smaller than my thumbnail, um, but really, really cute. And then finally, I am really all set on ribbon clips. I have so many, but I didn't have any that had this like gold edging like this one has. So I picked up one and I just thought this was a really pretty color that would go with a lot of stuff. It's a really pretty peach. Again, it has the gold edging and the gold um, glitter ribbon in the middle. And this is her smaller clip size, but it's still a pretty good size, but you can see it's on the actual smaller clip. So, so yeah, so that is everything I got from K and Co XOXO. That's a mouthful to say. And then the final order is I have a small order here from Sparkly Paper Co. I actually got this pretty quickly. I think I ordered it like uh, maybe mid last week, but I got this pretty quickly. So what we have here are just a few Valentine's things. First up, we have her regular freebie that has some cute little doodles on it. And then you get her Facebook sampler freebie. If you join her Facebook group, she has a little note to seller or like a little code that you can put in the note to seller to tell her that you want this Facebook sampler. Um, and I, it's like a really big sampler. It's really cute. It has this really funny little mean girls character and like really cute little brunch queen. I really like this one. So definitely join her Facebook group so you can grab that. And then I just really picked up some die cuts from her. I don't really need like more character stickers, but I can't resist character die cuts. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, oh, you do get this free journaling card, by the way. Really, really cute. It's so big that I'm like, where can I put it? But it's really cute. You could even cut down the edge, but how funny is that with the panda eating the chocolates? And so here are the die cuts I grabbed. Um, she was having something like, I think like a 20 or 30% off. So that was what like tricked me into finally pulling the trigger, not tricked me. I had had my eye on these and I was like, oh, don't try to resist, but then I couldn't. But I really like her die cuts. They're a nice quality. They have like, um, they're on cardstock and they're really cute little animals. So first up was this Valentine's set that had this same little panda chocolates. This one's my favorite. Is that, what's her name? Start, was it start with a G? I forget, but I really like her. She's my favorite. I think this is Winnie, who is like Annie Plans' dog, which is adorable. And then this is Hazel the Unicorn, which one, that one's really cute too. So I got the Valentine's set of her characters. And then I got two of her collab die cut with Fox and Pip. This is the um, collab they did together. So that's like Sparkly Paper Co.'s character. And that's like Fox and Pip's girl. So I snagged two of these since I was already placing an order. And I just thought these were adorable. Um... These could even be used, they could be kind of cute in like a birthday setup or something. And I think the colors are kind of neutral enough they can go with whatever. So yeah, so that is it for um, my order from Sparkly Paper Co. And that is it for this part of the haul. Okay guys, so that is it for this haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to see me put all this stuff to good use. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.